Hey everybody, it's uh, me with things I do. Today I'm changing the contactor or the relay on my 2012 Polaris Ranger. Uh, this is the contactor relay here. I'm switching out. It's a pretty easy job. I've already done it once. Probably end up doing it again in the future. Uh, so let's show you some of the tools I'm going to use here. So tools I will be using is just a uh, 10 mil, some electrical snips and whatnot, screwdriver, and then a heat gun, and I got some uh, heat shrink connectors. Just it's just a kit I picked up off Amazon. Used it actually quite a bit, and then obviously the new contact relay be swapping out putting in there the reason why I am changing this out is because it's intermittent working it'll work and it won't work in or out doesn't matter so I have this stick that I keep in there while I'm plowing I just get out beat it works and then it stops working then I just beat it again so I'm getting sick and tired of that, so I am swapping it out. So first thing is first, we are gonna pull this out. Okay, that is it. And I'm, I'm gonna cut it right here, cause I'm running out of, out of wire, so I'm gonna cut it there, cause I'm Pretty certain I'm gonna have to change this in the future. So this way I'll save a little bit of wire. And the new one here comes with these connectors. I am just gonna I'm just gonna cut these off and uh, and then I'll just strip them, expose the wire, and I'll put those those other heat shrink connectors I have on there. Twisty poo, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so that I don't need those either. Where those are. So that's ready to go back in, just like that. I'll strip these ones. You don't want to over tighten these because they are they are just going into plastic. So you, good, good chance you could strip it out if you crank them down too tight. Alright. Just like that. We'll get a couple of these connectors. So I'm using these ones here, same as I used before. And what I'm going to do is put that in there. Put that one in there. And then squeeze it in. Oops. Could do one at a time, make it a little easier. Uh, 
in. So I'm going to get out the heat gun. That's that. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's there's actually glue inside of these that, that squeeze out and, and help hold as well. So these are these are really nice to have. Um and now to hook it back up, they're all color color coded, so it's just a matter of hooking them back up the way they call for. Again with this one, we gotta be careful reaching across so we don't connect again. All it does is make sure you're alive. Jeez, just like that. Okay, that's that. Super easy. Now I just gotta find that other screw and uh, put that back in.